Cool. No, nah, we just, I just worked out. I was just like, you know what? Yeah, might as well not even try to change. Just keep it on. <laughs> All games are supposed to be fun, but is a game like this even more fun because it's it's the line of scrimmage? I mean, I think every game you play at Alabama is pretty fun. Yeah. Um, you know, we're we're gonna get the best challenge from each team we play, and uh, you know, LSU there's no there's no difference about that. You know, it's, it's always a hard fought battle up front, and uh, that's what we're expecting. So that's what we're gonna prepare for. But it is grown man football. Absolutely. I mean, there's no doubt about that. You know, you can't be. Um, can't be hesitant when you play LSU in the, up front, so um, we're gonna try to get after it the best we can. What have you seen from their front seven? Uh, I think they play. I think they play um, a little bit harder and faster than they did last year. I think it's a different defense. I think Coach Steele's done a great job with their defensive line, um, and you know we, we know uh, week in and week out, you know we're probably gonna get the best, or like, you know the most blitzes and, and the best teams' effort. So um, for us, you know we gotta play more consistent as an offense, and you know it starts with the offensive line. You know we uh, I think we we have way too many negative. Um, negative plays, and uh, that's going to be one of the biggest things that we work on all week. Along those lines, it seems like you guys have played better away from Brian Newton than you have at home. How, how do you fix that? Um, you know, it's just, you know, you got to keep your, your foot on the, on the gas the entire time. You know, sometimes, you know, even in, sometimes even in Brian Denny, you know, we, we go out there on our first drive, you know, we get on the field and score, and then it kind of feels like we don't, you know, we're not, we don't have the same, um, you know, attention to detail or, or readiness to get up there and do it again. So, um, you know, that's going to be to be practiced all week is, you know, how we can just be more consistent week in, week out, and just starts with play by play. You know, you can't um, look forward to the next play or look ahead. You just got to keep, you know, doing your box at that certain time. Ryan, is there any difference with uh, Kevin Steele being their defensive coordinator? And last year he was in the staff room and on the practice field. Uh, yeah, it's a little different, but you know we have guys who move around all the time. You know, Coach Pruitt was the same way at Georgia too. So, um, you know, I know he, he probably knows a lot about what we do, but we know a lot about what he does too. So, um, you know, both coaches are, you know, both teams are going to change, <coughs> change a little bit what they do. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really come down to what he does. It's all about our offense and how we communicate and just give him support. This is the first time we got to talk to you since you had a concussion. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? What, what happened there? Um, honestly, I just wasn't wearing a mouthpiece. Went up to hit a linebacker and probably came in a little too high. But uh, I feel good now. Um, you know, J Coach, Coach Jeff Allen has done a great job of, um, you know, kind of limiting me that week. Um, I wish I could get that week back because I felt like I was, you know, playing a little slow against Tennessee. It was kind of out of shape. Just in that, it's crazy just how fast you can get out of shape in, in just a uh, couple of days. Um, but you know, Jeff Allen did a great job of, um, you know, kind of testing me week or day in and day out, and make sure I was okay. Uh, and I feel great now. So and you guys have uh, Dominic limited on the right side. How much does that test the offensive line this week? Getting ready for a big challenge. Um, you know, we always have guys uh, who, you know, unfortunately go down. Um, you, know, you look at every single year. I don't think an entire offensive line has just made it through an entire season without someone beginning. Um, hurt, but uh, you know I know Dom. He's he's a fierce competitor. You know he's a guy that wants to play really bad. So um, I think he's gonna do his best to get out there. But until then, we're just gonna keep rotating guys in and out, and um, you know just keep coming together as an entire offensive line in general. Hey, how much is the athleticism for them stuck out, or how much has that been? Something yeah, they play they play with a lot of speed. Um, you know we watched them. We haven't watched too much of them. Uh, we got a little bit little bit of them last week. Um, but you know, just in general, they have a lot of team speed, and LSU always does. So, um, you know, one of the biggest goals for us is going to be to hold the ball, um, put great drives together, and keep our defense off the field. You mentioned the mental mistakes the offensive line, but do you, do you feel like you guys made a positive step here in the bye week. I think so. Uh, I think we had a really good bye week. You know, bye week is kind of important because you, um, you know, some guys can you know lose focus of what's important during that week. But you know, for us, it was all about you know fundamentals, getting better, um, and really just trying to improve our game. Um, you know, we kind of dissected what we did wrong, um, what, what could really improve on in the bye week, and I think a lot of guys took advantage of that. You know, I think I certainly did, and uh, I think we definitely took a step forward as an offense. Right, what are some of the memories that you have from this game that kind of sum up just how special? I mean, each year, um, you know, 2000, I, mean, I remember 2011, I remember 2000, 2012, you know, it came down to the last second. Uh, 2013, we had it at home, and uh, I think we played pretty good in 2013. 2000, last year, um, I thought we had a pretty good game. Just came down to, you know, that, that last minute drive where, you know, we, we had played, or we had, you know, practiced that drive so many times. You know, you get the ball, um, fourth quarter, you have a, a minute to go, you got to drive the entire field. Um, just the poise that everybody showed, and then, uh, you know, just hopefully just keep moving into this year. Um, but it's been a great rivalry so far. Um, just looking forward to it. I think some of the players have talked about Jake's confidence, you know, picking up as, as he's gotten more comfortable. But how much did that Tennessee drive really kind of open some eyes a little bit, even among some of the players that knew what he could do, but did it late like that? I mean, there's no, there's no, uh, 
you know, no testing his, you know, his willingness to win or, or character or anything like that. Um, I think you know he's shown that week in and week out ever since he became the starter. And uh, the more he starts on the field, you know, like I've said before, the, the more um, confidence he's showing in the in the locker room. And I think a lot of guys are picking up on that. So um, he's doing a great job for us. Um, you know, and he just, you know, when he's in, when he's in the huddle or he's on the field, you know, you can definitely tell that um, the electric that he brings. So you smiled when we talked about the physicality of that front seven. What's what's different about this LSU game as opposed to maybe other? Other games you play. I mean, any any game in the SEC uh, is going to be you know won pretty much in the trenches, um, and and LSU is no different. Um, they, have, they have a great front seven. A lot of guys have played a lot of games, and uh, I think they're they, you can tell between last year and this year they're playing a lot faster and a lot harder. So um, we're worth elevate our game and just getting better um, since it starts today. Is it more physical? Couple more questions than other games? Um, yeah, you know, it might be. I don't know. It's going to be as physical as as we play. Um, you know, I think I think it. You know, Wisconsin, we started the season out pretty well, you know, being showing how physical we can be. And uh, I think we're just going to keep going out there and try to prove that. Do you ever with Balk and any kind of question about Heisman or anything? You just go, well, I'm not talking about that. But do you, do you think that, that he, he maybe doesn't get quite as much respect nationally just because Burnett's having such a good year? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much you know people are talking about him. I know how much we love him. Um, we and we cherish you know how how hard he runs and how good of a player he is. So um, I, I don't I don't think he cares about um, the outsiders or, or what everybody is saying about him. It's just about this team and how we can get better and keep winning throughout you know the rest of the season. So um, you know, I think we I think he's one of the best running backs in the country, and um, you know we're, we're just lucky to have him.